Welcome to our study know-how video on EndNote Desktop. This video was created on the lands of the Eastern Kulin Nations. In this video, we will be covering the following. What is EndNote Desktop? How to create and populate an EndNote library. Manually creating and editing a reference. Exporting references from online databases. How to select and add citation styles how to add the RMIT Harvard output style, and finally, using EndNote with Microsoft Word, also known as Cite While You Write. What is EndNote? Throughout your studies, you're going to be reading and citing information from a wide range of sources, from books, journal articles, reports, or websites. It can be difficult to keep track of everything you have read and where you have sourced your information from. EndNote Desktop is a reference management tool that you can download and install onto your laptop or desktop computer. It allows you to collect, store and manage references in the one place. You can automatically create and format bibliographies in your chosen referencing style, import references from databases, and library catalogs like Library Search, attach PDFs, annotate them, and create notes on your sources. You can also insert citations directly into documents with Microsoft Word. Using a reference management tool can assist with the process of referencing, but it is not a substitute for learning the rules of your referencing style. We recommend that you continue to refer to EasySight so that you are following the correct rules around what your citations should look like. An EndNote library is your collection of references. When you open EndNote for the first time on a Windows device, you will see a screen asking you to either open an existing library or create a new one. Select Create a new library and save it to your preferred location. When creating a new EndNote library, it's best to save it on your local drive. Storing your library on the cloud or a network drive can cause your library to become corrupt over time. On a Mac, EndNote will just open with the top menu toolbar. You can create a new EndNote library or open an existing one by clicking File in the top menu and selecting either New or Open Library. Your EndNote library consists of a .enl file and an accompanying .data folder. It's important that these two items are kept in the same location. If you later want to back up or move your EndNote library, ensure both items are copied and kept together. You should now see a blank EndNote library window. We recommend using one EndNote library during the course of your studies rather than creating multiple new libraries. Using one library is easier to manage over time. You can quickly search within all your materials and organize references by project, subject, or however you like using the custom group folders. There are several ways to add references to your EndNote library. We're going to be covering two, manual creation and exporting from an online database. To manually create a new reference, from the top menu, select References, New Reference. Alternatively, you can select the shortcut icon on the top right. A window will pop up where you can put in details for your reference. First, select your reference type from the drop down list and then populate the required fields. You can check which fields are required in EasySight. Some fields need to be formatted in a specific way so that the citation appears correctly. For authors, type the last name first, then a comma, followed by the full first name, followed by any initials, ending with a period. For multiple authors, each author needs to go on a new line. For organization names, include a comma at the end. You can also add notes and attach a PDF file here. When you're done, click on Save and exit the window. Your reference will show in the middle. To edit a reference, double-click the reference and a panel on the right-hand side will pop up. Click on the Edit tab and update any missing fields.
When you're done, click on Save. Thankfully, there's an easier way to populate your EndNote library. Direct Export. Direct Export is the most effective method for adding references to your EndNote library. You can export references from most library databases and send them to your library automatically. Different search engines or databases have different ways to export references. Look for a button that mentions terms like Cite, Export, or Save Citation, and export formats like RIS, EndNote, or .enw. There are a couple of ways to export references from Library Search. First, perform a search for your topic. Click on an item's title. Under the Save Citation section, click on EndNote RIS Export. You can either click Download straight away or select UTF-8 and then select Download. Click on the downloaded RIS file for it to open in EndNote. Your device may ask you to select a program to open the file in. If it does, select EndNote 20 from the list of apps, tick the option to always use this program and click OK. To export multiple references from Library Search, from the page of Search Results, click the checkbox next to any item you want. Alternatively, you can select all items on a page by clicking the top checkbox. Then click on the ellipses menu on the top right and select EndNote RIS Export. Again, you can either click Download straight away or select UTF-8 and then Download. Your selected references will download as a single RIS file. Click on the RIS file to open the references in EndNote. To export references from the ProQuest database, perform a search for your topic. Click on the item's title to view the record, then click on Cite on the top right. Then under Export to a Citation Manager or File, select EndNote and click Continue. Click on the file to open it up in EndNote. To export multiple references, go back to your list of results. You can use the checkboxes on the left-hand side to select items, or alternatively, the top checkbox to select all items on that page. Then use the ellipses menu on the top right and click Cite. Then click EndNote. You can also select what information you want to include with your reference. In this case, it's giving me the option to include a PDF link or not. Some databases may prompt you to complete a capture. Click Continue. The multiple references will download as one RIS file. Click on the file to open it in EndNote. To export references from Google Scholar, first perform a search for your topic. Under the item you want, select Cite and then select EndNote. A .enw file will download. Click it to open it in EndNote. You can export multiple references from Google Scholar. However, it requires you to log in with a Google account and a few additional steps. You can export a maximum of 20 items at a time. If you click on All References, you can see all your references in the central panel. Double click a reference to bring up the right hand summary panel. Click and drag up the bottom right sub panel to preview how a reference list entry for that item will look. You can select any reference style you like and it will automatically generate a citation. If the style you're after isn't there, 
You can view more by clicking Tools, Output Styles, Open Style Manager. This is where the full list of reference styles installed on your EndNote live. If you want to add a reference style, just click on the checkbox to the left of the style and then exit the window. Not all styles are included in EndNote. For example, RMIT Harvard and AGLC4 need to be added. To install the RMIT Harvard EndNote style, go to the library's EndNote desktop webpage. You can either Google RMIT Library EndNote or navigate to it from the library homepage by clicking Referencing, Reference Management Tools, and then Access EndNote Desktop and Additional Files Downloads. From this page, scroll down to the Reference Styles section and click to expand. You'll see here a list of instructions for downloading RMIT Harvard style. There are two steps for installing the style. Step one is setting up the RMIT Harvard reference types and fields. Right click on the RMIT Harvard ref type table.xml file and click save link as. Save it to your downloads folder. Then open EndNote Desktop. Click on Edit in the top menu and click Preferences. Select Reference Types, then click on Import and select the file you just downloaded. Click on Open. Click on Apply and then OK. You can see this has changed the reference types available. Step 2 is downloading the EndNote output style and moving it to the EndNote styles folder. Click on the RMIT Harvard EndNote output style ENS file to download it. View the file in your file browser and copy it to the styles folder. The location of the EndNote styles folder will depend on whether you're using a Windows or Mac device. On a Mac, the location will be Applications, EndNote, Styles. On Windows, navigate to C, Program Files, x86, EndNote 20, Styles, and paste the file in there. Then open EndNote Desktop and select Tools, Output Styles, Open Style Manager, Find RMIT Harvard EndNote, click the checkbox next to it, and exit the window. You will now see the option to select RMIT Harvard EndNote from the list of styles. If you aren't required to use RMIT Harvard and want to change the reference types and fields back to their default setting, you can go to Edit, Preferences, Reference Types, and then select EndNote defaults. Click Yes, then Apply, then OK. Site While You Write is a plugin that connects EndNote to Microsoft Word. It gives you direct access to the references in your EndNote library while typing your paper, adding references in your preferred style and in the correct format. Make sure you have EndNote and Word Desktop open to use it. We'll first demonstrate using EndNote in Word for author date referencing styles using APA 7, then demonstrate using it for footnote styles with Chicago 17th. In Word, from the top menu, select the EndNote 20 tab. Then select a referencing style from the drop down menu. Ensure you have the same style selected in EndNote and Word. To insert a citation, Place your cursor where you want the citation to appear 
and click Insert Citation. The Find and Insert My References box will pop up, allowing you to search your EndNote library. You can search by author, title, or any keyword from the reference record. Select the item you want and click Insert. Two things happen simultaneously. An in-text citation is inserted, as well as the reference list entry. If you're inserting citations but the bibliography is not automatically generating, check that Instant Formatting is set to On. The default format for this style is author and year in parentheses, which you would use if you were paraphrasing in your paper. You can change how in-text citations display. After clicking Insert Citation and selecting the item you want, instead of clicking Insert, click the arrow button next to it to view the different display options. You can also display as the author outside of parentheses and year inside parentheses, the year only in parentheses, the author only, or have it display in the bibliography only. If you've already mentioned the author in your sentence, you can insert a citation to display the year only in parentheses. Select Insert and Exclude Author. If you want to add multiple references to a single in-text citation, you can select them from the Find and Insert My References box. After performing a search and selecting an item, hold down Control or Command in Mac and click to select additional items. If you want to directly quote a paper, you can add page numbers as well. To do this, click Insert Citation as usual, perform a search for the paper title or author, click on the item you're after and click Insert. After inserting your citation, select the citation and then click Edit and Manage Citations. Under the Edit Citation section, type in a page number or page range, then click OK. Again, if you've mentioned the author in your sentence, you can select Author Outside of Parentheses or Exclude Author Options. If you make a mistake, you can always go back to Edit Citation and select the correct display options. To display a page number in parentheses only, Right-click your citation and click Edit Citation, then select Exclude Author and Year. If you want to remove a citation, don't just backspace or delete it from your document. You'll need to select the citation, then click Edit and Manage Citations. From here, Use the Edit Reference drop-down box to select Remove Citation, then click OK. This ensures that the item will remain in your reference list if it's been cited elsewhere in your paper, or removed from your reference list if it is not. You still need to check references for completeness and accuracy as well as the format against the rules and examples for your style in EasySight. If you notice anything strange about the appearance of your citations, don't just edit them in your document. You'll need to check the information in EndNote, edit it there, then go back to Word and update citations and bibliography. Go to EndNote Desktop. Search for the paper you want to check.
Go to the edit panel and check that all fields are correct. You may have to remove unnecessary fields if they're causing your citation to display incorrectly. When you're done, click Save. Go back to Word and click Update Citations and Bibliography. You can format your reference list by selecting the Configure Bibliography arrow button, then clicking the Layout tab. Here you can give a title for your reference list and adjust formatting such as line spacing or indentation. Now here's an example of how to use EndNote and Cite While You Write with a footnote style using Chicago 17th. In Word, from the top menu, select the EndNote 20 tab. Then select a referencing style from the drop-down menu. Ensure you have the same style selected in EndNote and Word. To insert a citation, place your cursor where you want the citation to appear. Then go to the References tab and click Insert Footnote. A superscript number will appear next to your cursor with a corresponding footnote at the bottom of the page. With the cursor next to the footnote, click on the EndNote 20 tab and then click Insert Citation. The Find and Insert My References box will pop up, allowing you to search your EndNote library. You can search by author, title, or any keyword from the reference record. Select the item you want and click Insert. Two things happen simultaneously. A footnote citation is inserted, as well as a reference list entry. If you're inserting citations but the bibliography is not automatically generating, check that Instant Formatting is set to On. When repeating a citation, EndNote will recognize this as a subsequent citation and automatically format a shortened note or display IBID depending on the footnote style rules. You can see here it has inserted a shortened note. If citing several sources to make a single point, they can be grouped into a single footnote. Go to the References tab and Insert Footnote. Then go to the EndNote 20 tab and click Insert Citation. After performing a search and selecting an item, hold down Control or Command on a Mac and click to select additional items. If you're directly quoting a source, you can add page numbers to a citation. Go to the References tab and click Insert Footnote. Then go to the EndNote 20 tab and click Insert Citation. Select the item you want and click Insert. Then select the footnote citation and click Edit and Manage Citations. Alternatively, you can right-click the citation, select Edit Citations, and then click More. From here, type a page number in the Pages field. You can also add additional information here using the prefix and suffix fields. You can now see the page number in the footnote citation. If you want to remove a citation, don't just backspace or delete it from your document. You'll need to select the citation, then click Edit and Manage Citations. 
From here, use the Edit Reference drop-down box to select Remove Citation, then click OK. This ensures that the item will remain in your reference list if it's been cited elsewhere in your paper, or removed from your reference list if it is not. You still need to check references for completeness and accuracy, as well as the format against the rules and examples for your style in EasySight. If you notice anything strange about the appearance of your citations, don't just edit them in your document. You'll need to check the information in EndNote, edit it there, then go back to Word and update citations and bibliography. Go to EndNote Desktop. Search for the paper you want to check. Go to the Edit panel and check that all fields are correct. You may have to remove unnecessary fields if they're causing your citation to display incorrectly. When you're done, click Save. Go back to Word and click Update Citations and Bibliography. You can format your reference list by selecting the Configure Bibliography arrow button, then clicking the Layout tab. Here you can give a title to your reference list and adjust formatting such as line spacing or indentation. You now know the basics of using EndNote Desktop. For more information on using EndNote, visit the library's EndNote Desktop webpage, EndNote Beginner's Guide, or contact Ask the Library. Links in the video description.